I am back for another follow through. This is Pastor Fred, uh, and we are listening to God. We're also living for Him. I'm talking about God's power today. I had a friend back at seminary uh, who would always talk about uh, powers for good, right? It, it would almost always be in a situation where, you know, he had a choice to make. Like he could, he could, you know, have a kind of sarcastic comeback or, or maybe get even with somebody. Uh, and, he, you know, again, any kind of temptation, he would say, powers for good. Uh, and that stuck with me. I, I know it was just to be funny and it was hilarious uh, most of the time when he said it. But what a, what a way to think of things. That this power God gives me, because he, he loves me, he, he has won victory over death and the grave for me. Talk about power that I have. But what am I going to use that power for? You know what I mean? Like, like, what is the ultimate in power? Am I going to go along with what the world thinks power is all about? Or am I going to say, no, no, I'm going to use my powers for good because God does that every time. 1 Corinthians 6, 14 says that God raised the Lord and he will also raise us up by his power. Again, God could have used his power for any other reason, but he uses it to raise us up. And so he, and in this whole section of 1 Corinthians, Paul's talking about that, you know, you could do whatever you want as a Christian, right? You are, you are really, like you're forgiven and you're loved, but, but what are you going to use that freedom for? Like, like Paul actually says, like, I, everything's lawful for me, but, but not everything's beneficial. Like not everything is going to help me and my spirituality. Not everything is going to be, be you know, doing things for someone. So I could go after somebody. I could, I could be mean if I wanted to. And God's going to forgive me. But think about that sentence for a second. Why would I want to be mean knowing that God forgives me? Like wh- how is that a free way to live? Right? That's just me giving in. That's just me being really a slave to being hostile or being angry or you know, being vengeful or whatever else everyone else says that I should be. No, power's for good. God used his power to, to, to raise us up from the dead. And so Paul lifts that up. He's saying, look, that's what power looks like. That's how you exercise power. You, you resurrect the, the world and the people, people like me, people like you. That's how God used his power, and that's how we should use ours to, re, to, to bring this truth of the resurrection to people so that they might know that they have life and have that hope. The powers for the ultimate good, right, for an eternal good, that we would do that every day, right? Let's, let's pray about that. Let's look at that. Let's give all that to God and ask him to help us to use our powers, uh, every, every power that we got from him for his glory. All right, we'll talk to you next time.